Time for our weekly look at what's for sale at the Sam and Sarah show tonight, sometime. We're not sure when. Oliver's got a soccer game. It's his first, um, like, select team soccer game of the season outdoors. I'm pretty excited about it. So we got to go to that first. I think that's a t maybe. Hello, Michelle. Sam should be on here to uh, chat with you guys. I'm just going to show you real quick. I think Oliver's game is at 445, so we got to go to that. Hey, Paigey. And then uh, we'll be on after that. So it'll probably be around 8 o'clock tonight. We'll be less. Um, hey, Jen. Um, It'll be less 6 o'clock, more 8 o'clock. Hey, Burkhouse Steve. All right, I'm drinking some coffee. Going to show you what's for sale tonight. Oh, Paige, and those would be perfect for you. You know why? Because they're super heavy, and I don't want to ship them. Those would be perfect for you. They're like plaster. Oh, great. Okay. Good, Paige. That works out. Wonderful. Paige, buy those because nobody's... They're heavy. They're like six pounds. <laughs> Michelle, I know. It. I know. Wasn't that great? Bravo, you guys. Well done. Hey, Mickey. How are you, honey? Um. Yeah, Michelle did... Uh, Michelle Grimmy did really, really well last night. And we are, hey, Marie, we are eternally grateful, you guys, for your support for her. Because she and her husband are going to need it. You know, now and in the future. So let's get to it because I got to take a shower and uh, get to my grandson's soccer game. I don't know where Samantha is. Samantha Elizabeth, where are you? She's at her house, but she'll chop, hop in the chat here real quick. I can't look at this, you guys. Can you believe I have everything ready for the sale for tonight already? I can't believe it. Yeah, it was. It was great last night, Mickey. I was so pleased. So, so, so pleased for Michelle. Okay, let's start top shelf. Hold on. I'm sitting on my table. Uh, oh, let's see. What do we got there? There's a couple vintage teapots. I think those might be McCoy. I'm not sure. There's a little Scotty head. I think he's a shaker. But he's super cute because he's just a little head. I like him a lot. And there's a little panda. Uh, I know. I And Jen, I am never on top of things. There's a little panda. What the hell is that thing called? Planter. There's a little perfume bottle. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? butterflies. The stopper is butterflies. I love that. That brass thing back there. <laughs> yeah, they're super um, like 40s, Paige. There's, they just scream 40s. I think they might be, boy, I could be wrong, but I think they might be McCoy. They're pretty neat. Hey, Pam, how are you, honey? They're really cool. They're in good shape. I just picked them up. Most of the stuff I just picked up. Um, that brass planter back there is like this, I think it's called the artistic line. It's like a, a brand from the 50s, and it's a wall thing. So it's half copper, half, um, um, half copper, half brass, and it, it's like a wall planter. See, you can kind of see on the back. It's really cool. And this, oh, I just pulled out Sam's stuff. Look at this darling little cup. Oh, my God, I love this. This is Sam's. I think that is so cute. It's like a little Pekingese. How damn cute is that? And then there's those little onyx birds. I just think they're super kitschy. Look at the base of that. And these little Scotties. And, okay, for the life of me, I cannot find who makes this, like, compote. It's, it's almost like cased glass. I don't know who the hell makes it. Uh, hey, Sean, how are you, honey? And this little letter pen holder thing. This is cute. 
And I think Bruce and I determined that that top thing in his head, hey, Sally, um, was like for a fountain pen. It's almost like an inkwell, I think. And then a pencil, because it says pencils back here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it says pencil. So a pencil would go there. They stuck a pen in it, so I just left it there. And letters. Hey, Cam, how are you, sweetie? And some little advertising stuff. That's a, um, you can't see it, but it's a, like a thermometer. A little advertising thermometer picture thing. It's really cool. And that little basket I just stuck in there because I needed some, uh, um, I needed some filler in the background. You can certainly have the basket if you want. It's old. Um, those bookends that Paige loves. Now, I warn you guys, they are super duper heavy. I hope Paige buys them because they're like six pounds. They're going to be terrible heavy to ship. But they are really, really cute. <laughs> Look at Paige. Yeah, super heavy. No one buy them. Some vintage books. I have to... Um, Guys, I got, and I keep buying books. It's a problem. So every sale, I got to get rid of some vintage kids' books. Um, look at those pup bookends, those bassets. Aren't those fun? They're heavy too. And hey, Amanda. And a pup and a little um, art glass owl back there. Isn't he neat? And what else? This little cutie planter and this super cool um, retro. And this is like beacon potteries. This is, um, that's marked um, on the bottom of it. That little um, TV lamp, it's really cool. Look at that, isn't that neat? And Sam's gorgeous um, Cinderella planter. It's Disney, it's marked Disney. And I know, chihuahuas are hard to find. <clears throat> and some tin litho dishes. Those are always fun. And some pups. Got a lot of pups. It's like the Animal Rescue League in here. I know, there's Cinderella. There she is. Disney Cinderella. She's Mark Disney. Friends, I stuck a fairy light in her to kind of lighten her up a little bit. It is Mark Disney. See, Cinder oh, sorry, it's upside down, but Walt Disney, Cinderella, that's pretty neat. Oh, I know, these dishes are fantastic. They're really cute ones, too. And I don't think I'll separate those out, you guys. I think I'll, there's like three trays and several little plates and cups. And I think I'll keep them all together and just sell them as one lot. So stand, look alive on those because they're really cute. <laughs> Jen. Yeah, that Cinderella is pretty popular. And some more pups, because again, the Animal Rescue League. And some uh, Pink Depression. Um, what the hell are these? Salt and Peppers. And that cute little planter. And these cute little... Um, they're almost like Jack and Jill's, only they're older. Well, I don't know if they're older. They're just different than Jack and Jill. They're cute, though. I think they're super, They're cute on the inside. I'll show them to you during the sale. But the graphics in them are pretty good. And that Kokeshi doll is really tall. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Amy's probably... Uh... Hey, Johnny. Um, Amy, Amy's going to be battling for that Cinderella. And those little bird flashcards and that is a little jadeite um, measuring cup it does glow oh you know what damn it oh shoot now I can't remember who sent me just a minute you gotta walk with me over to my purse hold on oh there's outside there's outside hello Urbandale let me see if I can pull out my black light here There's our neighbors. Just a minute. I don't know if I'll be able to find my black light or not. I'm doing it one-handed. Yeah, I know that. It's really cute. Sam, darn it, where's my black light? Where are you when I need you? Oh, it might be in my 
billfoldy thing. Sorry, guys. You know what? Here. Look there for a minute. Just gaze at that for a moment. Why don't you? Found it. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. I was unprepared. Um, yes, that is quite glowy. It's a little jade eye measuring cup. I thought it looked cute with, um, um, a little, well, that's a fake plant because I kill all the plants, but I thought it looked cute with a little plant in it. Isn't that neat? And some old maid cards. They're fun. And some flash cards. I'll probably sell those two together. And I think that's it for that shelf. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's move down. Oh, no, let's move left. This is, I cannot figure out what this is. Um, it's almost like, like a sheet, maybe, for a crib. I'll show you the edging on it when, during the sale tonight. But it's so well done. You could easily cover a table with it or something. It's really cute. It's old. And a couple of pillowcases. There's a pair of those. Ooh, this is cute. These are, um, I have two of these. I just hung one though. Those are vintage um, pin cushions. And see, they're all crocheted and they hang. Look at this. I'm wondering if this was like for a bride because, see, doesn't that look like that would be a, and there's like a wedding bell on it. Isn't that fun? I do have two of those. There's a pin in it. Oh, I love that. I think that is so cool. And there's a little retro tablecloth, which is fun. Oh, oh, over here. Oh, there is, I have a couple of really cool advertising pieces. Several actually tonight. This is a calendar from July of 19, or not July, but of 1938. Isn't that cool? Seidel's Market from Esterville, Iowa. Look at the telephone number, 360. Yeah, I didn't show you the pincushion thing, Sam. Yeah, there's you and Francis out gardening in the field. Just picking wildflowers. Yeah, having a mother-daughter day. There you are. There's your shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Francis's hair is all intact. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's pretty typical. So that's pretty cool. I know. Look at her high heels out in nature. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Happy Hours Amid the Flowers. That's the title of the picture. Well, isn't that true, Samantha? <laughs> and this, now I don't know if this is your guys' jam or not, but here in the Midwest, we have, um, you know, it's, it's uh, farm country. So we have feed sacks and grain sacks. And um, they are super duper collectible. See, now, if you don't live in the Midwest, you probably see things like this, um, like, oh, you know, like in boutique stores or Target or something, and they've made a pillow or something. Well, those aren't the real deal. We have the real deal here. And this is a Crystal Farm Seeds seed sack. And they are really, really desirable. People make things out of them. They make purses out of them. They make pillows out of them. They make quilts out of them. That's a pretty big one. But we'll see if you have... Oh, no, it's fabric. It's, um, it's like canvas. Now, the thing... See? It's canvas. It's all sound... These are very, very desirable. Um... I, that's what I thought, Sam. Crystal meth, Iowa. That's why I hung this one. That's what it reminded me of. Isn't that cool? That's a really neat one. Cargill is a huge uh, seed company. Isn't that fun? Now, I did learn, and I didn't know this because I've never collected feed sacks or seed sacks. 
um, that you do not wash these. Um, does it have a pretty fabric liner inside? Uh, no, they actually are meant to hold seeds and feed. It's just, see, here's the inside. See? Yeah, they're really cool. They're very, um, and as, as widely accessible as they are here in the Midwest, people pay absolute top dollar for those. I'm like, okay, you people are farmers. Why are you paying so much money for these? Go out to your husband's barn and get some. God dang, quit paying up for them at the auctions. But here's the deal. The thing is, these are used. I mean, this is what farmers, I mean, they still get their, their seed and stuff and things like this, but they're not, these are all vintage. So when you find them in really good condition, that's what makes them so valuable. And then people make things out of them. I mean, there's been whole, you know, people make whole quilts out of them. They're really cool. So hold on, let me take a drink of coffee. Just a minute. All right, so there's that. I don't know if that's your guy's jam or not, but we'll see how they do tonight. I have several of them, but um, we'll see. Right, Jen, absolutely. Oh, yeah, and I did, like, I got Noah one um, that I'm going to have framed for him. I'll show him to, I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, from Billings, Montana, but, you know, he lived out in Montana for a while, so that'll be cool. All right, bottom shelf. What do we have? Oh, here's another advertising calendar. This one is cool. Look at that Indian maiden. Isn't she awesome? And that one is from 1926. That's pretty neat. And I put this Jim and Judy book out because, you know, our friend Judy Jo and her husband Jim. That's kind of fun. And, oh, that's a, hopefully everything won't park down. That's a first edition Mary Poppins. And those are like, um, they're like, you know, you, you get a wet paintbrush and then it changes the picture. But the front cover on them is really cool. I'll show them to you tonight. And some swung vases couple of Amberina ones. I don't know who makes these. This could be Viking. Ooh, God, they're fingerprinty. This could be Viking. I don't know. Um, and this blue one, look how big it is and glorious. Ooh, I love it. Love, love, love that one. I like the red ones too, but the blue one's glorious. And a little tin. Yes, Jim. Yes. There are, uh-oh, Bruce is running the water. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there are some, there are some that are made of burlap. These, the ones I have are all made of canvas. Yes, Bruce is washing his dishes. <laughs> and this fun little jar, I like the lid. I picked that up the other day. I thought that was cute. And, oh, that back there, that picture is Brush McCoy. And I got some cobalt stuff. A little basket, a little reamer, cream and sugar. This little wiener dog, salt and pepper. This, oh, there's a little elephant of Sam's. A little wood carved elephant. Um, that, this is like the Charlie McCarthy, um, radio game but it has like all the pieces are there and then that little metal flower frog thing I thought was pretty cool and that cobalt hat is actually an ashtray flipped upside down and the hell else this odd looking cat dog uh oh and this is um that's like an advertising piece tipton indiana somebody what the hell does that say cakes no cakes 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 manufacturing tipton indiana isn't that fun lemur maybe i don't know what it is it's 
I don't know. It makes me uncomfortable. It's kind of weird looking. It looks like a mean dog. It looks like a dog, like a dog in the wild that somebody domesticated, but you don't trust it. No, nope, don't trust him. Mm -mm. He's going to snarl and bite you. And that rose canister is left in, and it's a cookie jar. Yeah, dingo indeed. Uh, oh, right, right, yeah. I do too. And there's another little advertising calendar thing. Those are so cool. I love them. Yeah, I bet it is one of those mean animals from Australia. And uh, like a retro vintage tiger planter. There's another advertising calendar thing back there. And that pinky peach vase is Brush McCoy. And a boxer. And there's a, he's sitting on this really cool basket. And these are, I think these are um, whole. I'm almost sure. They're pretty tall and they're in fantastic condition. I will, oops, sorry. I will probably sell the pair of them together. They are pretty glorious. I think they're whole. And, oh, we got some linens. Yeah, it could be. I don't know what that thing is. Somebody just buy it and get it out of my kitchen. Ugh. And let's see here. Yeah, yeah. Bruce doesn't want me to show him. Oh, you guys, I have, I forgot I had these. These are, were like, these are original, like posters that were in um, a preschool. They're framed, but I will take, you guys don't want the frames. I'll take them out of the frames. But look at these Dick and Jane um, prints that were like in a preschool. Aren't these neat? Oh, I love them. And there is a Afghan that Sam picked up. And there's an Afghan I picked up. I never get the good Afghan. Sam always gets the good ones. So I'm thrilled that I found this because I never find good ones. And yes, there is another chenille. I laid it out kind of across the couch so you could see it. Look at the blue and the pink. Look how bright that is. These have been up in my closet forever, you guys. Isn't that neat? This one's fun, too, because it has um, fringe. And if my husband was any kind of husband, he'd help me out here, but he won't because he refuses because he's a big baby. Look, that one has fringe. It is in outstanding condition. And, yeah, I was, see, I wanted to do this during the day so I would have better light because, as you guys know, we live in this cave. Um, this is another chenille bedspread, but, and it's more pink than it's showing here, but this I'm going to sell to you guys, like, as a project, like, for projects, if you guys want to cut it up, because it's pretty beat up, but it's big and it's got a lot of good left in it. So, um, it's, that is worthy of taking home. And <laughs> there is a story behind this, um, crazy quilt. That's all made from suit, suits. And I washed it. It was perfectly fine. It didn't shrink up or anything, but it's some guy's old suit, some man's old suits that his wife made a crazy quilt out of. I love it. And, oh, so what the hell else do we have here? Um, all the stuff on the table. Deb, I think the peacock, I don't know if that would fit on a queen or a full. I can, you know what, before tonight's sale, I'll put it, because we, we have a full bed upstairs. Um, oh, I know. This one's really cool. I was, I am really, really tempted to keep this because it kind of matches the stuff in our house. See, there's a rug. See, and then there's our couch, and my husband's legs. But it kind of goes with stuff in our house. But, um, yeah. 
but um what was I saying about this? Yeah, so, but I, I can't. I can't keep it. I paid, I I got in a bidding war with somebody who keeps out bidding me on things, and it was pissing me off, so I bought it, so now I have to sell it. Um, yes, we will measure this. I, there's a full bed upstairs. I'll throw it on there to see what it looks like. But it very well may fit a queen. I don't know. I really don't know. And, okay, now i got to show you a couple other things. Here's my cup of coffee. Now, this stuff will also be in the sale. I just couldn't fit it on the thing. There's a big tablecloth. Um, oh, there's some of my hair. Gross. There's some linens. There's some um, um, old dishcloths, you know, dish towels. But they are not in fabulous condition. So I don't know. It, I mean, they're old. They were used. And there's some rooster ones. We are missing a couple of days here, however. There's these. These are fun. I love these. And there is this cool, you know, those feather birds. There's one in a little basket. Oh, I did pick up a bunch of vintage um, Better Homes and Gardens. Like from the 60s. Those are fun. We'll see if you guys want any of those. Lotted up and sold to you. And, oh, here's this cute wall pocket. Isn't that cute? It's a little Japan wall pocket. Dig it. And there's this cool... Um, this is very, like, Jamie. This is very mid-century modern. Copper and leather. This, um, what the hell is this thing called? Ice bucket. In this old box. And I think this is uh, Mexico's version of a fairy lamp. Look at how fun this is. It's Mexican pottery, but it's like a candle thing holder ish you know it's mexican pottery i love it love it love it and there's some restaurant where i don't think i'm going to sell you this you guys because it it goes pretty high on the bay and i mean unless you guys collect it you'll have to let me know but um that goes pretty high and both of these sets this stuff here um, they're both Syracuse, but they were both made for like Burlington. I got to look up exactly, but they were made for railroads, the railroad lines. So they were the pieces that were used on, um, when you traveled on the railroad. Aren't those pretty? And then those are violets. But again, those will probably go on eBay. Some old Scotty dogs. There's some Salt and peppers of Sam's. Those are pretty cute. Got little ladybugs on them. And some rooster creamer and sugars. This hideous dog. Who needs a home? Oh, God. I don't know if I'm going to keep that planter or not. It's like from the... It's just marked USA. I'm not sure. Um, those are some Czech pottery. These are really pretty. Those are Czech pottery um, creamer and sugars. A little Weller vase back there. I got a tin of sewing stuff you guys might want. Um, Sam's got a little cup and saucer. Oh, Ruby, take that dog. Um, I got a little Northwood rose bowl. And it is supposed to be this color. It is, um, it's, they call it nutmeg stained. But it's supposed to, that's not dirt. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's old. It's Northwood. But it has got his little leggies got some damage there. So he will be sold to you at a pretty good price. Samantha, who sent me these black light fairy lights? For the life of me, I am drawing a blank. And they work like a dream. See? Look. Some, I can't, is it? God, it wasn't Michelle. Who sent these to me? See, there's without. It's Vaseline glass, obviously. 
and there's with. It's delightfully glowy and old. Yeah, I dig Northwood too. And some of it is worth a lot of money. Northwood is old. But because, um, because it's one of its um, feet are damaged, I will sell that to you at a pretty good price. And, oh, and I got, you guys, now you got to tell me because, you know, again, this might not be your cup of tea. And there are a couple of things that I can get, mm, I'd say, sizable prices for on eBay. But, I mean, if somebody wants them, you just let me know. I'm happy to sell them to you. Um, so this old, old brass bird cage. Just a minute. This sucker is old. And, but, hold on, I gotta go around the table here. But, it has these two celluloid birds in it. Oh my God, this thing is so cool. Oh. Oh, I hope nobody calls me because I did not turn on Do Not Disturb. I forgot while well, we're almost done. But anyway, this is really, really, really cool. This old bird cage with these celluloid birds in there. So that's neat. I don't know if anybody likes stuff like that, collects stuff like that. It will be a little spendy, I will tell you that. Oh, I know. It is so cool, Jen. Look at these birds. Oh, I need to clean it up. I will clean it up before tonight. No, it's not. Hold on. It is not terribly heavy. No, actually, no. I'm holding it with one hand, and you guys know how weak I am. Mm -mm, it's not. I'd say maybe a couple pounds. It's not. Um, I'd say that's probably... Maybe 12 inches tall, maybe a little bit taller, about, probably about, tw maybe 12 by, I don't know. It's not terribly big, but it's, it's not small either. It's really neat. Oh, you guys, this, wit this dog. Uh, now, witch. See, now, Bruce, you have me calling her a witch. She is not a witch. Okay, she is hovering because this is the only doll stand I could find that would fit her. Hold on. She's hovering. Okay, look at her. Her outfit is all original. She has a little fur on her boots. That's velvet, Sam's favorite fabric. Look at her nylons. Look at, look at her nylons. She's, um, com um, she's a composite doll. Look at this. I mean, they're like, they're actual nylons. Like they're, they're pantyhose material. I cannot find her anywhere. I don't know who makes her. See, look, she's got the seam down the back. Look at those. Oh, I mean, she is all, her outfit is all original. Her toes are even painted. What do you see her face? Look at her little outfit. It's velvet. She has her little petticoat. It's all in place. Look at her cameo. She has her original cameo. Oh, I have a cameo stick pin, too, that I'm going to sell you guys. I just didn't pull it out. Look at her little dimples. She has teeth. Look at her face. Isn't she glorious? Now, Bruce thinks... Bruce thinks she's part of a coven. I think she is absolutely glorious. She does not... I mean, and she is in fantastic condition. She's got a tiny little crack right there, and I think she's got a little crack on her. Now, she does have a jaundice problem. She may or may not be a drinker. I don't know. But she is in glorious condition. Isn't she beautiful? She even just still has her hairnet. Look, her hairnet's still here. Oh, I love this. Because her hands have a little bit of damage on them, but not too terrible. Um, yeah, no kidding. Ooh, she's something, isn't she? Look at her. And see, she's hovering over the ground because she is pure magic. Oh, I love her. 
I couldn't believe it last night when I was looking at her. And she still has her cameo necklace. Isn't that neat? <coughs> oh, I love her. Oh, Melody, I just absolutely love her. <coughs> now, it shocks me that little girls, like my mom's age, my mom was born in 1934, and, you know, so she would have been like a doll that my mom, yeah, yeah, she's she's levitating, not hovering. Um, she would have been like a doll that my mom played with. How did those little girls play with these and not break them? I, I just can't figure out. Look at her dimples. Again, she may or may not have a drinking problem. She does. She's a little jaundiced. But that's okay. We can work on that. There's, you know, there's therapy. There's rehab. She's fine. She's gorgeous. I love her. Oh, I'm kind of becoming, Sam, I don't know how to tell you this, but I kind of am becoming a doll person. Bruce is going to be thrilled by that, isn't he? There's a bunch of creepy ass dolls in the house. <laughs> and I mean specific dolls, like old, old, old dolls. Oh, exactly. You are not kidding. All right. I think that's everything for tonight. I think... <laughs> Sam um, I think I showed you most everything that's going to be for sale tonight so uh, we will see you Sam what time will we see them about 8 we'll see them about 8 I guess see you guys about 8 o'clock after soccer's concludes and have a great day and uh I don't know. Go do something productive. I hope the weather's good where I see you or uh, where you live. And that's all I got. We'll see you guys later on.